Okay, I'm with floor covering retailer David Hale. He is the owner of Sun Mills Carpet and Flooring. We're in Ringgold, Georgia. David, great to have you on our program. Thanks for coming. And it's been, it's been a long time. We had done some things back and we just uh, figured it was about 15 years ago. Exactly. Fun times uh, down, in, uh, uh, you know, down in the south, south end of the world. That was right, that was right. Well, tell us about Sun Mills, the company, the history. I'm sure you got a most interesting history. We were uh, founded in 1980 uh, and uh, have been here uh, ever since, at the same location. Uh, I came from uh, Salem Carpet Mills uh, directly across the street from our facility over here to uh, set up uh, this uh, company uh, along with uh, uh, Jim Trawick. Jim Trawick was the money behind this company uh, at that type, particular time, but uh, I was set up and, and uh, eventually bought uh, Jim out a few year, years later on. Mm -hmm. But uh, we are a, uh, a company that uh, started out uh, in this industry during the during the heydays, we had a slight recession there in 1980, but it uh, came uh, alive again uh, along about 1982, 1983, and uh, uh, we at that time were strictly a wholesaler. We did not do any retail work at all. We sold dealers throughout the uh, southeastern part of the country, and uh, we even at that particular time uh, eventually got into some off goods program, uh, but uh, soon uh, realized that uh, our mission or our marketing concept uh, uh, had to change due to all the uh, problems involved with, with off goods mm -hmm. uh, and uh, selling them at, the, uh, uh, at that time. So we changed our marketing concept and went into uh, retail business. Uh, that was about 1985 and um, uh, we've been there ever since, uh, but we still at this time, I'm jumping forward real quickly at this particular time in our history, uh, we still handle uh, uh, most of our business at this time in fact is dealer uh, network business and or interior decorators mm -hmm. who bought, purchased from us and they're, they're either locally or or out of the state, out of the area. Uh, we have a strong presence in Kentucky and uh, and uh, in fact we have a strong pres a presence over in Minneapolis area. These are dealers that uh, we've done work with in the past. But uh, we're a niche player uh, we've, uh, as a result of uh, uh, the recession, uh, we have gotten uh, uh, into becoming, uh, uh, like I said to you, a niche player and uh, meaning that uh, hard surface is coming on uh, real strong now is, uh, that's the battle cry. That's what we're, uh, 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 Shaw's building this plant right across the fence from us over here, which is a five, six million dollar plant, which will be in operation, I understand, in October. And, and I understand. It's an LVT plant. The LVT plant. Yeah. And uh, hard surface again. And I think, uh, I'm not sure whether or not Mohawk has opened up in Dixon, Tennessee, but that's, that's their LVT plant up there. Uh, and it's, it, if it's not completed, it's, it's near about being, being completed. So, but our main uh, 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 course now is that we're following is, 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 is tile, actually ceramic tile. There's a lot of people in our industry who don't like handling it due to the fact it's, 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 uh, it's complicated and you have to pay a lot of attention to it. We have no interest really in selling a consumer or selling a dealer or an interior decorator goods and just pushing it out the door. We want to get more involved in it, build up the relationship that we need to build up uh, with any uh, situation because we go strictly on 
or mainly on referrals. Uh, we do advertising on the internet, but uh, not a whole bunch of uh, advertising otherwise. And that's how you build up in certain areas. Exactly. One or two started out, and then word of mouth. We, we go, we we go to the uh, those dealers or those interior decorators and uh, see if we we don't want to interfere with the business we're doing with them, but we uh, see if there's anybody else up there that could use our services. Very interesting. Um, what's the most trying part of a business, running a floor covering business today? I mean, I know it's changed a whole lot since the 80s. Well, they say before you die, David, you got to do three things. Visit Miami, vote Democrat one time, and then own your own business. <laughs> so so cons consequently, anybody who uh, would attempt to get in there. But the most trying thing right now is the uh, is the government, uh, uh, you know, uh, situation as far as uh, 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 owners of businesses, and and uh, there's too many tax codes, too much, uh, 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 that's both uh, federally and, and locally, but uh, uh, that's a challenge. But you work your way through it, and and uh, and uh, you you accomplish a lot. But there's that's probably your 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 worst, not your worst enemy, but. Uh, Another big enemy at this particular time, in my uh, opinion, uh, and is these pirates on the internet. And uh, uh, this uh, uh, situation with the lumber liquidators, I think, is real disgusting. Uh, uh, from the standpoint of uh, they poisoned a lot of the uh, people's minds with uh, with even uh, buying laminate flooring. Uh, with uh, what they've done, and of course that 60 Minutes uh, uh, episode that came forward and uh, uh, and hit it right on the mark and uh, gave the true situation the way it was. But that's a big problem. And uh, uh, when you enter into a contract, we're a, Shore, we're a Shaw Flooring Alliance dealer, which gives us some sort of protection mm -hmm. from the standpoint of uh, Having this situation with these pirates get involved with, with our pro with the product line, so that this gives us some some assistance. Mm -hmm. But uh, do you find that customers that you talk to, because of this lumber liquidator sixty minute situation, are tentative about laminate or floor oh, covering sure. in general? Oh sure, sure, hard surface altogether. But it takes some explaining. But we're able to explain it to them, and uh, and we're ex able to. Educate our dealers and our our interior decorators that uh, about this because you know we're, we're constantly uh, in touch with uh, with uh, uh, with information that's going to help us uh, rid them uh, with this with this uh, hurdle they got to go over before they sell somebody something. I see. I see. Um, Doing business in the Dalton area, that's got a, that's a, that's changed, I suspect, a whole lot over the oh. last several years. Talk about those changes. Well, the changes have been, uh, um, you know, uh, again, getting back to the, the old days when uh, you didn't have to pay much attention to other, you're just pushing goods out the door, selling it, and take, gathering up the money. But uh, uh, going along through this, uh, this recession, uh, beginning of the recession, this recession that we're still moving our way through a little bit. I mean, it's still not uh, perky, but the the recession uh, uh, made us uh, better better dealers. It uh, we realized that you had to uh, uh, cover all of the facets of your of your business, uh, your overhead, your uh, your selling points, your profit uh, margins. Uh, and 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 your more more importantly is is your product lines. You had to know them better and uh, to be more efficient. So it, it caused us to be um, come awake real real quickly. Uh, I mean, as far as we're concerned, and that's why we we decided here at Sun Mills that we're going to become go back to our original uh, being a niche a niche player in this industry and. Uh, because there's too much competition around the, around the area here, but it's building up these relationships too that's uh, that's made us better better dealers, mm -hmm. making sure that our 
we were servicing our customers efficiently and properly and answering their questions. Mm -hmm. Is the majority or is a great deal of your business done as a result of what you do on, on the internet? Is that a major part of, of the equation? Not really. The internet is, is kind of leveled off now. Uh, we were on Angie's list, we're still on Angie's list, but uh, Angie's list to, uh, used to be uh, extremely helpful, but they've become, they've changed their course in as much as they, where you used to be on their Angie's list, they're coming back to you as a dealer and uh, they're trying to put you in line with uh, uh, your uh, other competitors in, in your area as far as getting leads are concerned. And so, but you have to pay for that. So in the past, they didn't have, they didn't uh, uh, require that. But uh, yeah, it's the, the leads from the internet are, uh, are somewhat, but the old time customers we've done business with, after we have done business with them out of the area or anywhere in, in our, uh, 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 locally or out of the area, after we've done business with them, we go back to them and, and uh, uh, have them complete a little bit of a survey. We want to make sure that the products they use was uh, was what they thought it was. It, it was uh, it's gonna you know we don't leave them uh, leave them go after we we don't cut them loose. Yeah. We keep we keep after them and we uh, uh, keep a record of in our uh, company here of uh, when we sold them and we get back to them from time to time. Mm -hmm.